Getting ready to go live and live in three, two, one, go, go, go. Come on. And we're live. Hey, what's up, hexers? Welcome to Fun and Friday. Let me double check that my audio is working. Yes, good. Ha. Um, I'm a very excitable person, and this is an especially exciting day. I have picked up a package that got lost in the postal system. I had to track this thing down and then go to the post office with my bike and like grab this and it took them like 20 minutes of puttering around to find it, but finally it's in my hands! Ha ha ha! Um, so this is a circuit board. It comes from England, uh, specifically the School of Eeks at Queen Mary University of London, where the Bella platform is developed. This is an awesome a uh, hardware platform for music, for low latency audio of all types. And uh, this is their latest cool thing. It's on Kickstarter right now. Let's take a look. It's called Trill. I said, let's take a look. There we go. <laughs> so if you follow Bella Platform on Twitter, you've already seen this. They actually released this a couple weeks ago and it's finally in my hands, but it's called Trill, Touch Sensing for Makers. Precise and easy to use touch sensors for crafting beautiful interactions. And it is beautiful. Uh, before I dive into that, let's open this up. I already actually, I didn't see the return address, so I just kind of ripped it open to see what was inside. It's very nice. It's, it's very, very nice. So, Oop -a got some I squared C cables. Cool. These are ready to be plugged into the sensors. We've got a sweet little Bella uh, card, a couple of Bella stickers. Love these. Um, such a stylish platform. <laughs> uh, you can tell that they are artists and creatives at heart. And then, here are the exciting things. So right now there's a, uh, oh, eyelash. <laughs> right now there's a, a bar and a square version of these. And they have some cool properties that you will see uh, in case you need different shapes. But there's also coming up a hex version and a ring version and maybe more. Look at these. Wow. So gorgeous. And on the back here are where the sensors connect to your board. You can obviously use them with the Bella or Bella Mini platform, which work with the Beagle Bone. The uh, Bella Mini works with the Beagle Bone, the Pocket Beagle. And uh, yeah, oh, it's got an interesting texture over here too. You can see where all the vias go through. Ha! Huh. That's so interesting. Now these are half height PCBs. They're very um, flexible, actually. And you can actually cut them to size. Uh, not with, like, unlike a regular PCB, where uh, I recently borked my <laughs> pliers while I was trying to cut something. Uh, this can actually be cut with scissors. It's ridiculous. Let's take a look. Trill. Bring beautiful touch inter interaction to digital projects. It's not just for music or, or even audio, but it does that very, very well. There's the trill bar. It can sense up to five touch points on this bar, which is ridiculous. Um, and it's gorgeous. <laughs> There's the square, which uh, can sense two axes of movement. It's got an incredible density there. Uh, there's the Craft, which is a little 30-channel breakout board that lets you make your own touch interfaces out of anything conductive. I love this demo that they show here of laser cutting a little stencil and then cutting th uh, conductive copper foil through it to create your own interface with uh, isolated zones. Look at this. I think it slowed down the GIF for some reason. Look at that, look at that, so clever. Um, you can connect to all kinds of things, including like an Arduino, uh, to Bella, to Raspberry Pi. They include an examples library, uh, or a library and examples. For all of those things, you can cover it with vinyl uh, or other thin surfaces if you want to cover up this gorgeous surface, which I don't know why you would, but you can if you want to make it look more integrated with your thing. And you can cut it with scissors! Look at this! You can just cut it, like literally cut it down to size. That's so... it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I want to try it with 
copper tape with conductive paint. I've got some conductive uh, thread as well that could be fun to use. Oh, there's a, a tutorial by Helen Lee doing like sonic circuit sculptures. Cool. Um, there's also, for you synthesizer nerds, there is a modular synthesizer Eurorack uh, module. Look at that. It's ridiculous. I love the aesthetic of this. Oh, look at that brass. Wow. Is that embed what is that? Particle board? Plywood? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty nice. Producing control voltage from the trill sensors. Yeah, I've been learning a little bit about Eurorack from my friends, and now you can make your own uh, little little modules and stuff. Look how nice that looks. Ugh. And then you can use multiple of these sensors at once. Wow. Um. Yeah. <sighs> Visualizing stuff in the Bella IDE. Speaking of the IDE, there's all kinds of other stuff coming up, but you can get the technical deets here. Trill bar, trill square, trill craft. And then these are some stretch goals that have now been unlocked. There's the hex version and the ring version, which also look gorgeous. And you can find all that stuff um, because they already are at $20,000, almost 21,000. Uh, so almost seven times their goal, it's ridiculous. I guess it started out at around four, but yeah, you can get this kit for uh, 14 pounds for one sensor. You can get a three pack with any combination for 36 pounds or more, etc., etc. You can uh, check these out yourself, and they're estimated to be delivered in February 2020. So cool. So uh, I got a note. Um, from one of the developers saying that we have a library and examples for Bella, so maybe that would be the best way to try the sensors out. Let me show you the stuff on my desk for while I'm saying this. Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is the little microcontroller. Look at that. What are they calling this again? <sighs> Forgot already. <laughs> um. Mm -mm 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 down here. Trill craft. Yeah. Cool. 30 channels of capacitive sensing. That's ridiculous. No, like, what are you, what? Ah, <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, and it's very small and uh, pretty sturdy as well. Okay, so, so, yeah. Um, they told me uh, our new IDE has P5JS integration for building custom GUIs and lots of fun options for visualization. So you could build something in the browser that responds to these uh, visually and or musically. We will be launching the new IDE on Monday with a full guide. That's this coming Monday, the uh, 7th of October. We have added the Trill examples to the new IDE, so the easiest thing would be to update the Bella Mini to this branch, which is the pre-release branch. Let's pull that up. Um, come here. Here on GitHub. It's at github.com slash Bella platform, and then you can just look for the Bella and then the pre-release branch. But on Monday, that'll be the uh, updated to be all the way. There's also a forum, forum post. If you go to forum.bella.io, there's a post from Julio from 23 days ago. And you can read all about this, trying out the new Bella code. Uh, you can get a zip archive of that pre-release branch a bit and like start messing around with it already. If you have a Bella Mini or a full Bella board, then you can uh, get started messing around with those. I do have a Bella Mini, but I left it at home. So uh, I might try it out with the Teensy 4, which has um, a whole little audio shield and test platform for developing audio stuff. And um, this also has a wire library that you can use to talk to it with I2C. Uh, also, there's a new dedicated enhanced I2C library for Teensy 3.x devices. I'm assuming that the 4 would also work with this. There's a forum from uh, a post about it on the Teensy forum as well. 
cool. Uh, and then, of course, we have some stuff about the Bella Mini itself as well, if you're curious. Um, I did a video about it a while ago, if you look for Bella Mini Pocket Beagle Audio Platform on MCM Monday some time ago. Uh, there's a tutorial on using the Bella, uh, the Bella Mini Cape um, from the Bella Platform people themselves. This is more of an overview, and it aggregates a lot of different useful blog posts. Although, for some reason, the images are be Oh, it's because they're GIFs. <laughs> um, but I also did a little guide for getting started with the Bella Mini, and hopefully we'll do one soon on uh, using the trill sensors. Oh, this is so cool. And then also, um, on our new Hackster News section, uh, so now Hackster News is a thing. It's embedded in the Hackster site, and you can come here to follow our blog, which is fantastic. Um, Alistair Allen has also done an article about the Bella Mini. So, all kinds of resources for that. But of course you can follow them on Twitter for um, all the latest haps. It's at Bella Platform. That is linked in the description of this, this video, as always. I can't wait to start messing around with these. It's going to be so awesome. Uh, let's take another look because they're really pretty. <laughs> yeah! They're already so well funded, and I can only see it going up from here. Oh, I can't wait to see what the other modules look like. This is so cool! Oh, just, and plus it's got this little, um, these little guys here, which probably aren't meant for making it wearable, but totally could be. I'm thinking, like, maybe a, a pauldron that I could use to control stuff while I'm on my guitar. Wait, maybe it'd have to be this, this side. What would be easier? I think left left would be easier, but then their guitar strap goes across there. Maybe I could put it on the guitar strap, just make a little module that like slides on. Anyway, I have like evil plans for this and I'm really excited to get playing with it! <sighs> Alright, let's see if there's any comments before I wrap this up. Daniel Lawrence Stewart says, it looks awesome! Luca says, ciao from Italy, Naples, awesome! Uh... And I can't see any more comments, so I'm going to say that's about it. Thank you all for joining. Uh, as always, have an excellent rest of your fun on Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Ciao!